You are exalted above the names. Hallelujah. There is none like you. Hello, a very good day to you. My name is Sister Temi Tayo. I'm a Christian content creator and I'm here once again to share from the Open Heavens Daily Devotional compiled by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. And the reason I'm sharing from this particular Christian book is because the Lord instructed me to do so as I prepare to enter into the year 2020. So this is my fifth year of sharing from the, the devotional, and, and that's why we call it Season 5. And all those videos from 2020, they're all loaded on my YouTube channel, my handle on YouTube is Temi Agedo, which is right on the screen. I will encourage you to visit my channel, not only to view the old Open Heavens videos, which are a great study guide, but most importantly to view the Open Heavens for the current day. And I know that will bless you exceedingly. And while you're on my YouTube channel, if you enjoy this content, please do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And God bless you as you do now. Pastor Adeboye led me to Christ. In October 1997, a few years back when I was in the University of Lagos, Nigeria, and West Africa, and that gives you a few scriptures from the Bible and a memory verse, and that helps you to understand the body of the text. Praise God. So let's go straight into the daily devotional. Today is Monday, May the 27th monday may the 27th and today is children's day in most parts of the world it's definitely children's day in nigeria where daddy is based so happy children's day to all the wonderful children god bless you all um so today today we're going to be taking um the open, open heavens daily devotional title is prayers for children okay so let me just give you a background every month we have prayers there's something there's something that we're always focusing our prayers on sometimes like this month now we pray for children, uh, sometimes we pray for marriages, we pray for singles, we pray for pastors, we pray for the youth, we pray for our community, we pray for countries, you know, nations. So, and usually every month we have prayer, 12 prayer points, you know, and um, what the Spirit of God has instructed us to do is that instead of trying to fit those 12 prayer points into one video, we should do two videos, each with six prayer points. So, there's a, f a first video I've done today on prayer point prayers for children, prayer point one to six, and I'm doing prayer points seven to twelve, which is prayers for children, and we do that every month. We pray different kinds of prayers. So, you know, I'm going to put in all the prayer points in the description box so that you can pray these prayers over your children and every other child that you know. Praise God. So our scriptural reading for today is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 44 verses 2 to 6. Isaiah chapter 44 verses 2 to 6. And I'm going to be reading from the traditional King James Version. And thus goes the reading of God's word. Isaiah chapter 44 verses 2 to 6. And the title of today's daily devotional is Prayers for Children. And we'll be taking prayer point 7 to 12. So make sure you watch the other video. Okay. Thus said the Lord that made the Lord that made thee and form thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water on him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed, and my blessing upon thine offspring. Amen. Verse 4, And they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water courses. One shall say, I am the Lord's. And another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord. And so name himself by the name of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first and I am the last. And besides me there is no God. Hallelujah. You know, God's word is sweeter than honey in the honeycomb. Remember that we are praying for children. So I believe that the focus here, God is talking to Jacob and to Israel. The Bible says God sent a word to Jacob and he lighted upon Israel. So God is speaking to both the physical Israel and the spiritual Israel. He said, I will pour water on him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. And then he says he will pour out his spirit upon our seed and his blessing upon our offspring. And that our offspring shall spring up as among the grass. As willows by the water courses. Remember that in Psalm 1, it says that we shall be like trees planted by the rivers of water who bring forth their fruits in the season. That's the same thing that God is saying here that our children, our seed shall be as willows by the water courses. And God is referring to both us and our children. And that this promise is amazing. Verse 5 it says, One shall say, 
I am the Lord's. And another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord. And some name himself by the name of Israel. In other words, one will say, I am a Christian. I am I'm Christ. One will say, I'm a Christian. One will, when they say, who, who is on the Lord's side? You say, I'm the Lord's side. Who is born again? I am. The Bible says, he shall subscribe with his hand. So this is our, our children are um, openly confessing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Is what This is the promise that God has for our children. I was saying yesterday that the jailer in the book of Acts, you know, uh, when Paul and Silas, you know, were praying at me, singing praises to God at midnight, you know, the Bible says that eventually the jailer was baptized and his household, because when the man is saved, his household is also saved. And in the book of Job, he was talking about how God had made an edge around Job and around his household and all he had on every side it was Job who was the righteous man. But God made the hedge around him and his household and around all he had on every side. Okay, so this is a blessing. This is God's blessing for us that God will give us children who love the Lord with all their heart and with all their soul, even more than we do, you know, and that um, he will pour, God says he will pour out his spirit and his blessing upon our seed. And we say huge amen. So we're going to pray. For the children, we're going to start, we're going to be doing prayer points 7 to 12. Make sure you watch the other video, you know, and read through the prayer points. Pray them over your children. Amen. Prayer point number 7, it says, Father, as we celebrate Children's Day across the world today, please remember those who are looking up to, up to you for children of their own and grant them answers to their prayers in Jesus' name. You know, we, we are not of those who laugh at um, women who are waiting on God. There are some women, who, there are some peninas. We rebuke Penina in Jesus' name. You know, there's some things that you can't make happen for yourself. The Bible says that um, Rachel was barren because God had shut her womb. Elizabeth was supposedly barren. What, what she didn't know was that she was going to carry a promised child. You know, some women are carrying that children are coming. So um, never make fun of um, somebody else just because they don't have children that is not from god that's an evil spirit called the spirit of penina and it's a period that, spirit that will be disgraced at the end of time so let's pray for women who are waiting on the lord you know for children looking their eyes are on god you know the bible says as a maid servant looks to the hand of her mistress so our eyes are on you oh god so let's pray for women who are looking up to god for children to grant them answers to their prayers because the bible says and god remembered uh, Rachel and opened her womb. So God has the key to open a person's womb. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because you are the miracle working God. The Bible says that you are the God of all flesh. Is anything too hard for you? You are the one who remembered Sarah. You remembered Hannah. You remembered Elizabeth. You remembered Rachel. You heard the prayer that Isaac made for Rebecca. You are the one that opened nets and no man can shut. And you are the one that shuts and no man can open. Heavenly Father, I ask that you remember those who are looking unto you for children in the name of Jesus. Remember the word upon which you have caused us to hope, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, in your mercy, let there be, let their wombs be opened, Almighty God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that there may be the sound of rejoicing in their families, in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says that they that wait upon the Lord, they shall not be put to shame. But as today is Children's Day, Father, Lord, remember them, O oh God. Remember them who are looking unto you for the fruit of the womb because you are the one that has the power to shut and open in the name of Jesus as you did for Rachel. Remember them, O oh God. Remember us, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Never join the women who laugh at others because they don't have children. I remember a woman of God, you know, um, a Christian woman, a Christian woman, and, you know, her neighbor was... I think a Muslim woman, and she would see the woman had been married for a while, you know, and in Africa, uh, these things like this could be very difficult. They frown on women as though, you know, it was, it's them who decided not to have children. But her neighbor was a Muslim and didn't have children. You know, she would see her at the window every time she's going out and she would see that, you know, she wasn't very happy because of course she hadn't had children, you know, and, um, you know, so she secretly, she started praying for that woman, started praying for that woman, started praying for that woman, started praying for that woman. And one day that woman conceived and for some, she never knew that this woman of God was praying for her, but you know, she conceived and she, she, 
you know, um, God, the woman of God prayed, prayed for that child, that that child will come to know Christ. Okay. So we can do things like that. Cause God hears our prayer. That's intercession. Amen. In Jesus name. So we must remember those who are waiting on the Lord for children. Prayer point number eight, father, give all the children in my family, church, community, and nation as a whole hearts that yearn for you. Let them grow up pleasing you and doing your will at all times in Jesus' name. I was saying to somebody that, you know, I was saying, I think I was, while on the open heavens, I mentioned that I never really went to church. We never went to church as a child. I, I think I went to church for the first time in 2017. Yeah. And as the year I got born again. But, you know, in my primary school, they taught us the Lord's Prayer. They taught us uh, Psalm 23. You know, they, we prayed we prayed as children in the morning at assembly we pray and after um school we pray and those things really formed a foundation in my life you know and if they had continued i would have it's just a, a great foundation to have for children you know so let's pray and that god will give all the true all children in our family in our church our community and our nation that god will give us the heart that yearn, that God will give them the hearts that yearn for God, that they want to know more about Jesus, that they will, they will grow up pleasing God and doing God's will at all times in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I lift up all the children in my community, all the children in my family, all the young ones in my in my church, Almighty God, I pray, Holy Spirit, that in the mighty name of Jesus, you will give them hearts that yearn for you, hearts that love Jesus, Almighty God, and that they will grow up walking and loving Jesus with all their hearts, with all their souls, and with all their minds. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I lift up these children before the throne of grace and mercy. This young one, the Bible says, out of a heart, mouth of babes and sucklings, thou hast ordained strength, Almighty God, and thou shalt steal their, through their mouths, that they shall steal the adventure. In the name of Jesus, I pray that, Lord, you touch their hearts, Almighty God, you give them hearts that hunger and test after righteousness, hearts that pant after you as the deer pants for the water brooks in the name of Jesus Christ. I seal every child in my community, every child in my family, every child in my church with the blood of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, give them hearts that love you in the name of Jesus. I desire you in the mighty name of Jesus that they may serve you just as Timothy knew the holy scriptures from his childhood in the mighty name of jesus thank you god the holy spirit in jesus name we have prayed amen 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 the bible says unto god that answers prayers unto him shall all flesh come prayer point number nine father please give all the children that are connected to me in one way or the other good success in their academics give them the knowledge wisdom and understanding to excel in jesus name hallelujah 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 Oh, Father Lord, Ma Sataya. Yes, we stand, we are priests and prophets, you know. So, yes, we pray this prayer. Every child that is connected to me, you know, that God will give them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I pray for every child that I'm connected to in one way or the other. I pray that you give them good success in the name of Jesus Christ in their academics. Father, give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to excel in the name of jesus and let them be used for your glory oh god in the name of jesus all the children in my church all the children in the body of christ father lord give them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom like before hebrew children oh god daniel and shadrach and meshach and abednego father lord may give them wisdom knowledge and understanding to excel let their light so shine almighty god that men will see their colleagues will see their good works and love to know about their god in the mighty name of jesus i pray that you give them a mouth and a wisdom that none of their adversaries can contra contradict or resist in the name of jesus father lord i pray that you give them the boldness to share their gospel even with their classmates in the mighty name of jesus thank you holy ghost in jesus name i have prayed amen i remember um many years ago when i was serving in nigeria we do something called the national youth service so i was serving in abuja then and on TV, there was this child who, you know, um, in, in schools, then they sit very, two, two people on a seat. And um, this Christian child, her fellow, her other friend,
friend who sat on the other seat was from another religion and she had terrible asthma and she was having a, an asthma attack. But this little girl had seen her pastor lay hands on, <laughs> on people in church and, you know, laid hands on her, said, in the name of Jesus, and touched this other girl who was having this asthma attack. And the girl went flying under the power. And when the rest of the class saw that happen, they just assumed that it was this girl who pushed her. And the whole class and the teacher descended on this child and beat this child until she had cuts and bruises on her face. I remember very clearly, <laughs> I saw this child on TV sitting next to her pastor, wounded in plaster, you know, and they had beaten her up. But what happened? Why did it come to the line light? Because when that little girl got up from under the power, the asthma was gone. Hallelujah. I watched it myself on TV in Abuja. You see, we have power. Uh, we are prince of, we are princes of God with power, you know, and this was a child, you see, and this is why it's so good that we go to church with our children. When we train up a child in the way that he should go, when he grows up, he will not depart from it. It doesn't matter what anybody says. The girl who was delivered from asthma knew what happened to her. This were like five years old, five year olds. Praise God. Hallelujah. Prayer point 10. Father, please let your supernatural guidance abide with every child in my family, church, and community. Guide them in every area and at every stage of their lives so that they don't make costly mistakes in Jesus' name. Oh, if not for God who has been on our side, many of us would have made, some of us have made terrible mistakes. And we know that um, some of the mistakes we made as children um, has changed the trajectory of our lives. But now we are praying that God will have mercy on children, our children, children in our family, community, and church, that they will not make any costly mistakes in the name of Jesus, that God will guide them supernaturally. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you, because unto God that answers prayers, unto you, him shall all flesh come. Father, I pray for your supernatural guidance upon every child in my sphere of contact, family members, children of my family members, my church children, my community children in my community. Father, I pray that in your mercy, O oh God, my neighbors and their children, my neighbor's children, these young ones, these innocent ones, I pray that you will guide them with your counsel and afterwards receive them up into glory. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you, you will guide them supernaturally. In the name of Jesus, guide them in every area of their life so that they will not make costly mistakes. In the name of Jesus, Father, have mercy upon every child in my, in, my, in my family, in my community, in my church, Almighty God. Let them be supernaturally guided. Let the angels of God guide them so that they will not make costly mistakes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you because your mercy flows towards children today as they celebrate their day in the name of Jesus Christ. I ask that you look upon them with favor from heaven and envelope them under your mighty power in the name of jesus thank you lord in jesus name amen all right prayer point number 11 father please break any generational curses that may exist in the lineage of all children around me please raise a, a standard against every evil plan of the enemy concerning them in jesus name amen you know the bible says that uh, the soul has seen it shall die um, the Bible says um, that, you know, just God was, God the Father was saying that there was a proverb called, that stated that um, the fathers have eaten sour grapes, but the children's teeth have been set on edge. You know, in the name of Jesus Christ, I break every generational curse in the lives of children, innocent children who do not know what their parents have done. And if those gener generational curses are still following them, that the knowledge of God would light upon them. And that they will be, be, become warriors and break those curses, not only in their lives, but in the lives of others around them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Christ, uh, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having been made a curse for us. For the Bible says, Christ is he that hangeth on the tree, that the blessing of Abraham may come upon the Gentiles through faith. But I pray that I break in the name of Jesus any generational curse that is lingering in the lives of children that are connected to us, Almighty God. But I will break those curses in the name of Jesus and by the blood of the Lamb. For indeed, Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you, Almighty God, for your mercies, Almighty God. Let your mercy have 
bound in the name of Jesus. We ask that the Spirit of God will lift up a standard against every evil plan of the enemy concerning children in our church, in our homes, in our family, in our community. In the name of Jesus, God, we ask that you have mercy upon them. According to your loving kindnesses and according unto the multitude of your tender mercies. Father, have mercy on children today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we break every evil plan, every evil plan of Satan. We destroy it. We nullify it. We make it null and void by the blood of the Lamb. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And number 12, our personal prayer point for all, for all the children around me. Amen. So let's just round up the prayers. Father, thank you because children are the heritage of the Lord. Children are a gift from God that only you, O Lord, can give. Therefore, I ask that your power, your might, your goodness, your favor, and your protection, your guidance, your wisdom, your knowledge will rest upon children in my family, in my church, in the body of Christ, in my community, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, have mercy upon them. Let the angels that see God face to face watch over them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lead them in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. Father, Lord, let them have a heart for the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless our children. Um, yes, yeah, so that's that's it. So don't, do not forget to make sure that you watch the first video that contains prayer points number one to six. This is for prayer points seven to twelve. But I'm going to put um, the prayer points in the description box so you can pray them over your children and share, you know, pray them over children in your church and in your community. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so, so much for taking time to listen to me. I hope this blessed you. And while you're on my YouTube channel, very, very important, please do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And God bless you exceedingly. My name again is Sister Temi Tayo. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and I give you permission to share this video on your social media platforms. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless you exceedingly and have a beautiful, to all the children out there, have a beautiful day. God bless you all. God bless you.